Hey guys, Dr. Josh Jagoda here, and today I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that I get uh, in my career, which is the good old fashioned heat versus ice, and which one you should use so that you can help your injury recover better, faster, and stay that way. So, generally speaking, I'm going to talk about ice uh, at first. So generally speaking, you're going to want to use ice after the first two, three days of following an injury. Uh, typically, you'll see you know, the joint or the muscle that will be within that affected area. It'll be heat, it'll, it'll exhibit heat, swelling, uh, maybe a little bit extra flush or wet redness, and some heat will be kind of, like I said, coming off of it. So as a result of that inflammation, you're going to want to apply ice, probably about 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, with some compression and then you're going to want to take about 40 to 50 minutes off. Typically what I'll tell patients is make sure you touch the skin, make sure it's back to temperature, normal temperature and then if it's warmer because of the inflammation you can reapply the ice but if it's still cool or you know doesn't feel like it should be uh, as warm as the other side uh, then you want to give it some time. That being said uh, this is also really good for you know, sharp stabbing pain, very fresh acute injuries, as I said, two to three days, uh, or neurologic injuries where you're having burning sensations. So I really find that ice tends to help those. So with regard to heat, what should you use for heat? So, or when should you use heat, I guess? Uh, heat is usually better after about you know that fourth, fifth day. Uh, maybe it can be a little bit more of a chronic injury, but I do find that heat is better for those muscle sprains, strains, cramps, and spasms to really allow the muscles to relax and be soothed uh, by those joints. So uh, what I tell patients before is like if you have an activity to do, uh, let's just say somebody hurts themselves, they want to go exercise, but they still, you know, are a little bit inflamed, I'll tell them, you know, maybe you can do a little bit of heat or mobilization or movement uh, and then after the activity, ice down. But I really don't recommend combining ice, heat, ice, heat, back and forth. You really want to check with one, one, see if you can get a benefit from that one. If that doesn't work, then you may want to try the other one because it, as the old saying goes, everybody is different. But generally speaking, heat should be used for more of the sprain strains and chronic injuries and ice should be used more for those acute um, and newer injuries that are exhibiting more of that inflammation. So, Hopefully that clears up a little bit of that debate between ice and heat. All right, I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next week. Bye.